uh, my life, I've said it before and I'll say it again, at least a million times. Uh, my life is more difficult than it constantly always needs to be. Always and forever. Um, I struggled to get home today. Like, it was a whole event. Horrifying, honestly. Uh, Mason's also here. Um, I haven't given him much attention because I literally just got home and it is uh, 10.30. Um, but there was construction on uh, my train. So they're like, hey. Well, I, oh lord, you, I, I don't. <laughs> my brain ceases to function after 10 p.m. And I don't know why I decided these streams are a good idea. But they are apparently to me. Um, but yeah, I got out of work 15 minutes late already. Oh, open to the exact page I was coloring on before. Great. Um, but I got, hello mini goats, hello dip. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, guys. Um, I am complaining, as I normally do when I start these streams. Um, but there's construction on my train again. I fucking jinxed myself yesterday by saying, no, like, there wasn't any construction. Um, now there's construction. Um, so I got out of work late because I decided to be a nice person and, you know, not leave one of my coworkers to clean the entire bakery by herself. That's a mean thing to do to someone. Um, so I decided not to do that, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna stay another extra 15 minutes, even though I said I was gonna stream, and I don't need to do this, um, but I will, because I'm nice. Um, and so I got out late, and then, <laughs> yay, time for a rant, that's all I do. I feel like, I feel like that's how I just got popular on TikTok. So hello, welcome back, Luna. So glad to have you here. I don't know what to color these things. Because I don't know what they are. I've played a lot of Stardew Valley. I have no idea what this is. Um, so I'm going to color them green and the little circles red. Because why not? But. <laughs> uh, so I got out of work late and then there's construction on my train. So I waited. It's like, all right, it's going to be here in 12 minutes. I'm like, that's awful. But I mean, I guess. So I sit and I wait for the 12 minutes. 12 minutes goes by. I'm like, hey, where's my train? They're like, aha, just kidding. Um, we're, we're gonna, it's gonna be 17 more minutes. I'm like, 17 after the 12 I've just waited? Okay, no, that's not what's happening. That's some bullshit. And I don't appreciate it. So I go downstairs and Mason, can I help you? Apparently not. Also, hello, Evan, and thanks for the sub. Oh, Lord Jesus. I right, so, uh, train, not gonna happen. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just take an Uber or a Lyft or whatever. They're all, like, 40 bucks. Like, 40 bucks to get home. And I'm like, fuck it. At this point, I guess, I just did the 15 minutes of overtime. That doesn't correlate or correspond at all to the price I'm paying to get home, but I guess... Uh, so I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'll treat myself, it's been a while since I've been in an Uber or a Lyft, like, I've been taking the train, even when it's been, like, really shitty, so, like, I'll treat myself this time. And so, I order, like, the most expensive one to pick me up in, like, a minute, because I'm like, I wanna get home, it's all, at that point it was already, like, 9.30, and I'm like, I, 9.40-ish, I'm like, I need to get home, so I'm like, pick me up in one minute. Five minutes later, the Uber driver comes. And I know that's not the Uber driver's fault. That's the fucking uh, company's fault for saying, oh, yeah, we can totally get you a driver in a minute. Like, sir, like whoever is running that company, this is Chicago. No one's going to be able to pick me up in less than a minute. And I don't know why I thought that they could. Also, hello. Uh, <laughs> Gaudy Bogart. <laughs> and I be the destroyer. Hello, welcome to the stream. But yeah, no, and so the train, bad. I Uber, bad. Spent like 50 bucks on an Uber that probably would have gotten me home the same time as like the cheapest option. It's like, oh yeah, pick me up in 15 minutes. It's gonna take you that long to get here anyway, because I was like downtown, downtown. Like, if you know Chicago, like, in the loop. 
Like, there was no way anyone was getting to me. And also, while I was going to work today, I think there's, like, a festival happening. Hold on. I need a pencil sharpener, which I know where they are because I finally cleaned out this drawer. I have this drawer right here that's, like, it was just, like, filled with art supplies. Like, the most random art supplies, though. Sounds like Mason missed me. Yeah, he always misses me when I was at work or when I'm at work, especially now since like I just had like a week off of work and I was hanging out with him like every single day. Oh, and Ivy's guinea pig says hi. Hell yeah. I tell it I say hi back. I just, just hello. <laughs> but yeah, so life's hard, but I cleaned out all my art supplies because I like cleaned my entire apartment on my vacation um, so, like, I have the drawer filled with just, like, the most random art supplies. Like, I had, like, all different types of paint in there, and then I had, like, a backpack, uh, filled with just every coloring utensil possible. Like, I had crayons in there, I had Sharpies in there, I had, uh, colored pencils, um, some random, like, sketching pencils, like, fucking charcoal pencils. I'm like, I don't even know where I got these from, but I have them now, I guess. So I put them all in Ziploc bags because I didn't have any other bags to put them in. I, I, you know those, like, really nice, like, uh, drawer separators? Like, you see them a lot in, like, bougie cleaning videos. Like, all of, like, these organized people, like... It just, like, perfectly fits in their drawers. I looked at those. Some of them are, like, $50 per drawer. I'm like, I'm not spending $50. Wait, hold on. How many drawers do I have in my apartment right now? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Plus, and just in my bedroom, I have... Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... I have 11 drawers in my bedroom. 11 times 50 is math, and I don't do math past 8 p.m. Mason's just gonna cuddle with me right here. Just to shh, lay down. Shh, lay down. Lay down. <laughs> He's gonna go for the colored pencils. I hope you guys know that. Especially since I'm gonna be coloring, like, right in front of his face. Um, he is going to try to attack the colored pencils. Also, I found Mason's collar uh, that he constantly used to rip off of him because it's like one of the pull-away collars, so he would figure out how to get it off him. But I think he's matured enough to be a fancy young lad. <laughs> but not mature enough to not be a terror. <laughs> Cat, yeah. He's gonna go scream at the front door some more, hoping to get a sneak outside like sir you live here you're not an out you're you can't you don't know you don't have opposable thumbs you can't get a job you can't make it out there in the real world actually i think one of his toys might be under these drawers no idea I mean, I don't think this is the toy you wanted, but I did find a toy under the drawer. It's Lamb Chop. <laughs> Me and my coworkers were talking the other day. I don't, I know. This is now a Mason stream. Oh yeah, he steals this. He's always just the main part of my streams. No one actually cares about me. They can, they give a shit about him. Um, But me and my coworkers were talking the other day, like, I only know who Lamb Chop is because, like, my grandma had, like, the Lamb Chop, like, VHS tapes. But, like, it was an old show that, like, I forgot, like, the actual person's name, but there was, like, this little lamb puppet named Lamb Chop. And now the only time I've ever said, uh, or the only time I've ever seen Lamb Chop anywhere is if it's, like, a cat toy or a dog toy. I don't see any other plushies of Lamb Chop. I don't see any other Lamb Chop memorabilia other than dog toys. Like, that's so sad. Like, Lamb Chop's just living on, living the best life. They, sh 
That show gave us the best song. The song that never ends, and this is how we repay him. I don't even know what gender lamb chop was. Who am I to assume? Who am I to dictate what gender lamb chop was? Alright, there we go. I told you you can't go outside. Yeah, not allowed. I'm here to give you whatever you need. You don't need the hallway. You are going to run out into the hallway of my apartment building and then get scared at any noise that occurs and then immediately run back inside, not making it 15 feet past my front door. You don't want to go outside. You just want to stand in a hallway for like 45 seconds. And that's not what we're doing right now. We're coloring right now. You can't color because, again, you don't have opposable thumbs. But maybe you should have been better. I love the difference between cat owners. Like, I am one of the people that, like, my cat is an absolute goblin monster child. He is the bane of my existence, but I love him. And there's, like, other cat owners that are like, this is, this is, like, my, uh... <laughs> Uh, like, I don't know, my baby. This is, like, my sweet little child. Like, she is an angel. That's one of my coworkers. Her cat's name is Cleo. And she's just, like, oh, she's just, like, a little princess. Like, she does nothing but just, like, sleeps all day. She's so cute, like, and cuddly. I'm like, Mason is a demon. <laughs> Are you that scary? Am I scary? Probably. Just a little bit. Less, um, blood, guts, and gore scary, and more psychological horror? Kind of scary. <laughs> One of my aunt's cats had thumbs, so we named her Polly. Oh, so she named her Polly. Am I- is that, like, a reference to something? Or did you just, uh, name it, uh, Polly just because? <laughs> I would not be surprised. There's no correlation between those two sentences, but it's fine. Uh, sweet little angel. Yeah, didn't you say that she, like, vomited on your favorite carpet last week? Yeah, that's a sweet little angel. What's my favorite flower? My favorite flower is the lilac. I actually have a tattoo of a lilac, um... I don't think I can show it right now because it's on my rib cage and the, actually I might be able to work it into the framing right now because <laughs> it's like on my rib cage so it's like huh, right there if you can see that <laughs> as I'm trying not to show you a titty right now but that's my tattoo I growing up had like a lilac bush in my backyard in like my childhood home and it, oh my god the smell of lilacs Beautiful. Everyone's like, oh, doesn't lavender smell beautiful? You are missing the other tiny purple flower. There are more tiny purple flowers that smell really, really nice, and you're not giving this one enough credit. It's upsetting. Yeah, favorite flower. Pretty. Thank you. Um, that is my first and only tattoo for now. Um, I feel like I might have talked about this before, but I have, like, a whole plan for, like, tattoos that I want to do... The problem is I don't have the time or the money. One of my other coworkers literally got a second job to pay for her tattoos because she's been getting so many tattoos. And I'm like, do I need to do that? Do I need to get a second job in order to get tattoos? Because that doesn't seem like that would work because I need time to like, I don't know, get the tattoo, recover slightly. I mean, I feel like other places in the body, or not in the body, <laughs> tattoo my insides. I want someone to give me, like, the mom, the classic mom tattoo with, like, the arrow through it, like, in a heart. Um, but I want you to do it on the lining of my stomach. <laughs> uh. Oh, polydactyl is the name for having, oh! Oh, I like that. Enjoy your TikToks and pop into the stream once in a while. Oh. 
Well, thank you for this other subscription. Uh, there's so many fu- There goes my colored pencil, but there's so many vowels in your name. Biao. Ba- bow? Bow. Thank you, Bow. <laughs> it's like bow, but like weird. I don't know. I gotta go get my colored pencil. Uh, Mason, please do not steal the colored pencil or attempt to eat it. I know that is your favorite toy. Mason's favorite toy is colored pencils, and it still, I still choose it to be my favorite uh, art utensil. Actually, that's a lie. I think Sharpies might be my favorite. I don't know what it is about, like, coloring with Sharpies. It's like mixing, um, like, being an adult with being a child. It's, like, the best of both worlds. Like, yeah, you can't, like, yeah, you're coloring, and that's, like, really childish, but, like, you're doing it with Sharpies. That's some permanent serious business. Like, you wouldn't let, like, a kindergartner color with Sharpies. I actually remember, like, being in uh, elementary school and then being, like, you have to use crayons. And we're, like, I don't want to use crayons. I want to use markers. I want to use colored pencils. And they're, like, no, we're using crayons. I'm, like, why? For what reason? It wasn't, like, we were using, like, their crayons or, like, their markers or their colored pencils. Like, it was our own. What? <laughs> He's screaming in the kitchen right now. Which I feel like I should have made myself something to eat before I started this stream, but I was so focused on it being already 10.30 when I got home that I haven't eaten anything. Which is a problem because, again, it's... Well, it's 10.40 now. Crayons are still fun. I do, I feel like I should color with crayons more too. I don't know, the last time I colored with crayons was like an art therapy thing. Like I was in therapy and my therapist was like, alright, we're doing some inner child stuff. I'm gonna need you to get a, get a crayon. Uh, go eat lady. Yeah, I need to. I, do you guys want to come with me? <laughs> As I, hold on, I'm trying not to show any like weird stuff in my apartment right now. Let's go get a sandwich. Um... <laughs> Also, welcome back to the kitchen. It's weird not being in a ring light. <laughs> Stupid ads. Are there ads on my stuff? I apologize. Also, a peep at the saw shirt. Also, hello, salt water and chaos. Welcome back to the stream, guys. I'm making a sandwich. <laughs> Mason is also here. <laughs> also, King Rugby. Welcome back. Um, alright, sandwich time. I actually very recently, um, just did my first Instacat order. Um, love Saw, need to rewatch all the movies. Saw 2 is my favorite movie of all time. Not even, like, favorite Saw movie. Like, favorite movie of all time is Saw 2. Just because of, like, the twist ending, and if you haven't seen it, I'm not gonna spoil it because I think you should watch it. At least the first three Saw movies. Everything after three is kind of iffy. Like, at that point, it's just blood, guts, gore, and torture. Which is what we're watching the movies for, but it doesn't need to be the entirety of the plot. Um, but yeah. Um, I did Instacart for the first time on Tuesday because I went grocery shopping, um, and then a tornado happened, and then the next day- What? <laughs> he screams. For why? I do not know. I don't know, but did Instacart turn you this way? You've never seen this part of my kitchen and it's finally clean now. Um, but if I ever walk over here and you're like, oh, I'll set you guys up over there for like Monday streams. So if you ever see me just like look in this general direction, um, this is here, by the way. Um, meow, what? It's like trying to climb up my leg right now, but he doesn't understand that like he can't get up. <laughs> Anyway, back to Lord Jesus. I went grocery shopping and then a tornado hit and I primarily went grocery shopping for like stuff for stream and I cleaned up my kitchen so I ended up like uh, throwing away a bunch of like old spices and stuff and like old condiments, which it is concerning how long I keep some things in the fridge. I'm like, oh yeah, this ketchup that I ate like two days ago is technically three months expired. <laughs> Great. 
Two pieces of bread. Mow. Yeah, plus four is just gore with a tinge of plot. Just a little bit. Um, I can't remember which one four is. Like, after three, I'm like, mm, they all just kind of blend together because, like, I watched, like, the first Saw movie, and then, like, a while later, I watched the second one, and then I watched the third one, and then I watched, like, four through, what, I think we're at, like, well, four through seven, before they came out with, like, the newest one? Have I even technically seen the newest one? I don't know. Was that when I was walking in the rain? Yeah. When <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm trying to, like, face you. So, like, it's... You're just gonna be there now. I'm just gonna make my sandwich like this. But... <laughs> but I... The tornado warning happened as I was going grocery shopping. And I, I didn't buy, like, actual food. So I'm like, I'm not going to the grocery store. I think at that point it would have been, like, four days in a row. Because, like, my grocery store... Um, it has, like, a Starbucks, like, right next to it, so, like, I'll go to Starbucks and, like, oh, I'll just, like, grab some donuts for breakfast or, like, maybe something to eat for dinner. That's what I did a bunch during my, uh, little staycation. But the next day, I'm like, I can't go back. Like, this is, I'm, I'm gonna treat this as a lazy day. So I did my first Instacart order. And it was like, alright, do you want to shop at, like, this place or Aldi's? And I'm like, fucking... Aldi's has, like, some good-ass cheap shit. And so I got, like, this right here, which is cranberry almond chicken salad. And I'm like, that's sandwich. Chicken salad sandwich. I can make that because sometimes I get home from work after cooking all day and I'm like, I refuse to cook anymore. My, today is slightly one of those days. I feel like if I actually had time, maybe I could have made a meal. But like this is this is the best we're getting for right now. <laughs> but like today was like rough. Um at the very end of my day today, I ended up scooping what? It was a 22 quart and a 12 quart. So that's like math again. <laughs> Like, 36 divided by 4 is a number. Whatever that number is, um, <laughs> is the amount of cookie dough. Oh, Lord Jesus. I scooped into balls. I scooped so much cookie dough today. It's wild. My wrist hurts. Also, take a peep at, uh, Bill Cipher back there. Um, I saw, it's like the 10-year anniversary of Gravity Falls. Which is it, Lord Jesus, which is an absolutely horrifying thought. Like, Gravity Falls was, got done ten years ago. Wild. My makeup's on point? Thank you. It's literally just eyeliner. <laughs> no, wait, that's a lie. I do also have on mascara today. Sometimes I put on eyeliner and then I don't put on mascara. And I feel like that's, it looks fine, but it also looks weird. Um... But yeah, uh, 10 years since Gravity Falls came out, and Alex Hirsch posted, like, a, like an audio of the cast, or, or, well, all the characters that he voices in the show, um, singing We'll Meet Again, and then Bill Cipher, which is one of the characters he voices, which is, you know, the plushie up there, is like, don't, don't forget, I'm always watching you, and then I saw that up there, and I'm like, I'm concerned for my safety, but I also feel safe. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm like, I remember watching that in middle school. I'm like, oh, yep. Yep. Yep, you're right. That's 10 years. I, I don't know what age I am anymore. I keep referring to myself as like a college age student. Because I'm not in college anymore, but also, like, I finished my college in a year and a half. So, like, while I was still- while I was, like, graduating college, all of, like, my other classmates were, like, you know, who went to normal people college, were, like, still in school. And I'm pretty sure are still in school, depending on your major. If, but if you're going to, like, a four-year college, 18, 19, 20, 21, nope. I am no longer a college-age student. Fuck. 
I'm an adult, which is weird because I am afraid of adults. Like, I don't want to talk to adults. Shit, I am one, though. So Dip coming in with the Illuminati. The, uh... I, I like to call the Illuminati the watered-down Walmart version of Bill Cipher. <laughs> like, yeah, they're controlling the planet, but did you cause weird Mageddon? No. So what did you really do? Starting high school when that came out? Yeah, it is so long ago. I don't understand. But also, does anyone else not feel like an adult? Because I very much don't feel like an adult. And I see other adults and I'm like, we are basically the same age. But I am afraid to talk to you because you're an adult. I feel like my mom really fucked me up on that one. <laughs> She's like, you gotta respect adults. Like, they, they like know so much more than you. Like, all this stuff. And I'm like, I'm a child. And now I'm like, I'm still, I still feel like a child. So now I don't know how to talk to my peers because I don't know how to talk to adults, but I am an adult. Also, hello, Ezreal. Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, I don't think anyone ever feels like an adult, but when do I start feeling like other adults are not scary? <laughs> I have a pretty good sandwich. This is now also an ASMR. You're welcome. Now, I'm really enjoying the vibe of this stream. It's chaotic. But I'm having a good- it's chill. Chaotic, but like a vibe. Mason's screaming in the background. It's a good time. Water. I'd also like to let everyone know Blurb made it through the entirety of my vacation and then died at 15 years old. Sadly to say. Um, I don't respect you unless you respect me. I don't think my mom would have liked that. <laughs> um, my family says out generation doesn't feel like adults because we are so immature. Reminded her that she threw a fit about ketchup on her sandwich. Yeah. Ah, that sounds about right. There are so many things where it's like, oh, your generation is so this. And it's just like, let me remind you of like the thing that happened like literally like five months ago. Like, oh, your generation is so, like, childish. I'm like, ma'am, you did whatever you threw a fit about ketchup on a sandwich. But yeah, I definitely feel like if I ever have kids, I want to have kids. Um, but the way the world's looking right now, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, but if I ever do have kids, I am going to teach them that you should only respect people if they respect you. Because so many people in my life have, like, disrespected me greatly. And I'm like, it's fine. Because, like, it, it's fine. <laughs> and now I look back at those things and I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, I'm trying really hard to, like, stop being, like, a pushover and, like, do the things I want to do. Uh, but I don't know. It's hard standing up for yourself. I'm really good at standing up for other people. Like, really, really good at standing up for other people. But not myself. I need someone else to do that for me. Like, I'm doing it for everyone else. Who's doing it for me? I need y'all to fight my battles for me. I need y'all to call Lyft and tell them that um, they owe me $5 because they picked me up five it, after five minutes instead of one. Please and thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. There. Uh, there. Uh, there. Beautiful. Um, you don't like kids and don't want any? That's entirely fair. Everyone's entitled to their own choices, but I think kids are cute, and I think it would be amazing to watch just, like, a little human being grow from, like, this tiny 
tiny little baby to like a fully formed adult and like I get to like guide them throughout the entire way like I get to see this like tiny human being go from like something that can't walk or talk or really do anything um and then I get to like figure out like what their favorite foods are and like what sports do they like we can like watch tv shows together like I I think that's amazing like I want a kid just so I can, well not just so I can have like a friend but like I, I think it would just be so cool to have, like, another little little human being in the house that you can just, like, ch chill with. Like, I love, like, kid things. Like, I love cartoons. Like, I'm 22 years old. My favorite show is still Gravity Falls. Um, I watch Steven Universe. Um, literally, like, this year, I binge-watched the entirety of The Loud House. I'm this close to watching Bluey. I fucking love kid shows. So like if I have a kid, that's just an excuse to do kid things. And then I have a kid to do kid things with and we can bond over kid things even though I am an adult. But I do not feel like an adult because I like kid things. <laughs> that's a struggle. Who are we beating up? I don't know. The entire company of Uber. <laughs> Every ride sharing app. I don't know. <laughs> The president? Let's just all beat up the president. It, it doesn't sound threatening enough. So I feel like I'm allowed to say it. Right. I'm told pregnancy could kill, so I'm good. That is also fair. There's a lot of reasons why people don't want to have kids. And like, I want to have kids. Am I going to have kids? I mean, like, I want kids, but does that mean I'm gonna have kids? Probably not with the way, like, the world and the economy and everything's looking. Like, I'm not gonna bring a child into the world unless I can, like, 100% guarantee that they're going to have, like, the things they need in order to survive. And that's not just, like, money-wise. That's, like, me being in, like, a good mental health state. That's me, uh... Making sure that I have people and, like, a good support system around me to provide for us if I, like, ever need anything. Because, like, you can't do it by yourself. You know, it takes a village to raise a child type of thing. And it's just, like, I gotta make sure that I have enough time to take care of a child. Because, like, if I have to, like, figure out finances and stuff and I need enough money to support this child, I also need to equal in time to, you know, had, you know, take care of the child. I can't just be at work all the time. <clears throat> My parents. Anyway. <laughs> My dad, I never realized how much, um, my dad used to work growing up until it finally hit me. Like, I don't know, uh, you're talking like an adult? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, though, I've always had, like, an adult mentality. I think that's just the anxiety in me. Um, but everyone's always been like, oh my god, you're so mature. I'm like, yeah, it's because I'm mentally unstable and have to make sure everything is okay constantly, all the time. <laughs> so I need to know every little detail about everything to make sure that everything's gonna be okay. So I think things through. Probably a little too much, but also probably the correct amount. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know. Oh yeah, I, I never realized like how much my dad worked as like, as I was a kid, like from the ages of, you know, like infant to 18 years old until my mom once pointed out that he would regularly work 90 hour weeks. Like, you know, 40 being the normal or, like, the good 9 to 5 job. 90 hours a week? Is that even possible? Or did she just, like, throw that number out there randomly? How many hours are in a week? Hold on, I'm Googling things right now. Y'all entertain yourselves. Look at this beautiful colored picture. It's fantastic. Yeah, I know. I, I, I for a little bit, did, like... Maybe 60 hours a week. Like. 
I don't know. Hold on. Let me. How many. Oh, Lord Jesus. Can I type? No, I cannot. How many hours are in a week? Yeah, 168 hours. 90 is possible. Um. 84. So yeah, sometimes like 12, 13 hours shifts daily. Um, because I do not remember him getting a lot of days off. And if he did get a day off, all he did was sleep. But if I'm just like, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I really like getting into like the psychology of things. Like I feel like if I were more mentally stable, I would have become a therapist because I'm very interested in like mental health, but I have too many of them <laughs> to function normally. So I knew I couldn't go through however many years of school it become or you need in order to become a therapist. But like, I love going into like thinking things through of like, okay, why does this person act this way? And I've done that a lot with, like, friends and family members, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, my dad growing up did not have, like, the best childhood, and, like, his parents were constantly moving around, kind of to, like, avoid mortgages and stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Dip's just doing math for us. I appreciate it, but uh, Google already helped me. But yeah, so just, like, not a good scenario. Didn't have a lot of money. So, like, I very much think that he just wanted me to, like, have all the things that I wanted and be, like, you know, financially supported. Which he still does now. Like, there are some times where I go back home to Wisconsin to visit my parents. And as I'm leaving, my dad just shoves, like, $100 in my pocket. And I'm like, sir, why? I understand that the way you show your love is, um money and uh gifts what well, what kind of light love language is that i don't know but i yeah so like i get that like that's how he shows his love but also i saw you like twice a week growing up and you lived in the same household as me like imagine like living with someone but they're either sleeping or not there for 90% of the time. Wild. Absolutely wild. And I'm like, yeah, no, that, that's weird. And then my mom was like a stay-at-home mom up until my dad got, like, uh, demoted. And then she went back to work. But she, he was doing third shift and my mom was doing third shift. So it was little, like, 12-year-old me... Um, just chilling at home most times. It was a good time. <laughs> I would stay up until like 3 a.m. watching Minecraft YouTube videos. Honestly, a good time in my life, but also hella traumatic. <laughs> Gonna go watch anime. Bye, chaos. <laughs> Have fun with your animes. I had no concept of how well off or not your life was growing up. <laughs> you learn how much she made, damn, in a good way. I think that's the best. I think, like, parents that are like, oh, like, we're rich. Yeah, like, spoil your kids. Like, that's not good for them. Like, I think it's good for, like, kids to learn their way and then, like, magically be told later, like, oh, yeah, by the way, like, we're rich and, like, you had a good life, but, like, you didn't over-ask for things. Like, I... I feel like a lot of, like, spoiled kids are like, oh, yeah, like, I know we have money, so I'm gonna ask for more. And then all of a sudden they get to, like, college. This was me a little bit. Probably with, like, more, like, with grocery shopping. Um, but I was like, I love all of these expensive foods, because, like, my dad worked so much that, like, we did have money. But it just, I didn't need money. I needed, you know, parents. Um, <laughs> but... So, like, we had, like, a good amount of money and, like, I could just kind of get whatever I wanted from the grocery store because, you know, like, it was food. But then I grew up and I went to college and I'm like, dude, groceries are so expensive. Like, it's wild how expensive some groceries are. So I had to learn to, like, okay, like, you know, name brands are obviously more expensive. Speaking of food, I've only taken, like, three bites of my sandwich.
So. <laughs> Probably about. I feel weird of you guys just looking at the coloring book, but I also feel weird about you guys seeing me eat. It's fine. You're right, Dip. What? They yeah, are like, people do things for like logical reasons and if you know them well enough, sometimes you can figure them out. Like you can make like correlations and like think things through. Like I've done that with myself almost to an extreme where I'm like, I do this because this thing happened. But then I also get mad at that person that like caused that trauma and I'm like, hey, you're making me do this now. And I'm like, no, that's not how it works. Like, yeah, they caused the trauma, but you got to figure out how to fix it. And I'm like, but why? Why is it my responsibility now? They're the one that traumatized me. I love watching my streams because we have the same energy. I'm glad that other people also have this energy of a little bit of chaoticness. But just still fun. We have a fun time here. Hold on, what is going on with my hair? I don't know. I do really enjoy my haircut, though. I think Corey did a really good job. My boyfriend. Sometimes I feel weird saying, like, oh, my boyfriend. But also sometimes it's nice because I'm like, oh, my boyfriend. <laughs> huh. Okay. I'm sorry you're just watching me like eat in silence. But I can't talk and eat at the same time. But also it's past 11 p.m. And like this is the first thing I've eaten since. No, I ate at like two. We had nachos at work. My work made nachos. And it was a very sad version of nachos. Because it's just basically a bunch of like leftover prep ingredients that are like thrown together to make a meal for us. <laughs> mm. What's my favorite song? That is too broad of a question for me. <laughs> um. Right now, at this very moment, because I, I go through phases of like, this is my favorite song right now, and then like, ask me again in the next like three days, completely different song, but like, ask me again in like, another week, it's the same song as before. Um, currently, right now, what do I even like? <laughs> what have I been listening to lately? I do, well, today at work I was listening to The Living Tombstones, and I had never heard this song. Oh god, what's it called? I think it's called, like, I Don't Know What Sex Is. The weirdest thing to listen to with, to with your coworkers. But also absolutely hilarious. We just burst out laughing the entire time. Because it's a man telling you that he doesn't know what sex is, but also so many other weird things. Personally, my favorite line is, I'm feeling very adjective. <laughs> How much do you spend on groceries a week? I mean, I also spend a lot of money on groceries because I, honestly, what? He screams so much. Um, I spend a lot on groceries, but I've been, like, cutting it down lately, um, I honestly recommend, like, meal prepping. Well, not, like, meal prepping, but, like, it is so much easier than, like, making a different meal every night. Um, something that I found that helps is, like, doing, like, making extras for the next day and then turning that into, like, I, I don't know how to describe it. Like, I would make, like, a side dish. And I would make, like, four servings of that. So then I would eat... You know a serving is, like, st stupid. Uh, 
<laughs> you can say a serving is like 10 fucking Dorito chips. You know I'm going to eat the whole bag. Um, so I'll eat like two servings of that. And then the next day I'll eat that same side, but with like a different meal. And then I'll make like multiple servings. So like two servings of that meal. And so then I would have that meal for the next day, but a different side. And so I would use up the leftovers of the first day by eating it the second day. But then a new, I don't know if I'm describing this the best, but you quit your job. Oh yeah, I didn't read that part. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to count it as a good thing because I hate working and I feel like so does everyone else. So why do we keep doing it? Also, f fuck the minimum serving for an Oreo. Two, two Oreos. Who the who's eating two Oreos and only two Oreos? Like even if they just come in packs of two, I will eat three. I actually don't eat Oreos that much unless they're like specialty flavored. What's your guys' favorite Oreo flavor? Because personally, mine was the discontinued, well, the now discontinued, uh, strawberry milkshake Oreo. It was so good. I don't know why they haven't brought it back. Love my bracelet. Thank you. It's one of those, like, gemstone bracelets that every, uh, witchy white bitch has. <laughs> I'm... Every, I will see it literally on other people, and I will point to their bracelet, say, hey, and then point to my bracelet, I like your bracelet, and they're like, oh, hey! I'm like, this. everyone has this bracelet, but honestly, it's cute. I love it. It's a vibe. Caught a vibe! Alright, I think I'm gonna finish up with these red circles, and then I think I'm gonna go to bed, because I still, <laughs> I still also at work tomorrow. Monsters, that's who. You right. Only monsters eat uh two Oreos at a time. Except for Cookie Monster, who I also feel like would consume an entire row. Alright, finish up the red dots and then I'll finish this because I have to work tomorrow. However, it is going to be easier tomorrow because every day we have like a list of things to bake off for the next day. Like all the cakes and cupcakes for orders and like for retail um and we you know it's a list of things to bake so we call it a bake list but it's sunday tomorrow and we're closed monday so we don't need a bake list meaning i don't have to bake anything off which the bake list usually takes like an hour maybe two to complete depending on how many items there are like it's wild also i would like to point out the position i'm currently sitting in like, I am just cross-legged. Like, cross-legged. But laying down. <laughs> if gymnastics did anything for me, it was fuck up my joints. In a positive-ish way. No, the Cookie Monster eats like ten packs? That's, yeah, no. I don't know why I assumed he would only eat the one. When it, he, he's the Cookie Monster, and he's an absolute monster. Um... Double stuffed or mega stuffed for me? The thing is, though, like, you know double stuffed Oreos aren't actually double stuffed, right? Like, there's not two fillings in there. Which, yes, the filling is better than the cookie. But also, if you come... It's also weird to think about because the filling of the Oreo cookie is literally just Crisco. Like, it's literally vegetable shortening. That's why Oreos are technically vegan. So it's just vanilla flavored vegetable shortening. And I, if I think about that too much, my stomach starts to turn and I don't like that. That's the reason I don't drink coffee creamer anymore because I, it, I found out that like it's like 95% vegetable oil. Can I put my feet behind my head? Yes, I can, but not in these jeans. <laughs> That's how I rip open my crotch. And that's a bad time. All right, I also forgot these little ones over here, so I'm gonna do these guys real quickly as I'm saying goodbye because, again, work tomorrow, but there's no bake list, and also I have Monday off. So I think I'm gonna still go with the, um, the, 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 the,
No, do not ruin coffee. I Coffee creamer is just the thing. Coffee is fine. Unless it's ground coffee in which it might contain small bits of cockroach. But that's not... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You literally just told me not to do something and then I did it anyway. I apologize, Ivy. Anyway, everyone forget everything I've said for the last... How long have I been streaming? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. But it's just that, like, most coffee comes from, like, not very, um, I did, how do, I don't know how I would even phrase that, like, not very cleanly places. Like, they don't have, like, all of the farming machinery and, like, all of the health codes that we do. But to be fair, like, even normal stuff, like, even in the United States, like, I think there's, like, the ability to be up to, like, five cockroaches in things you eat, or, like, five bugs before it's considered an actual problem, or, like, particles of bugs that are, like, ground up into things. I don't know. I work in seven hours. I still need sleep as well. <laughs> Well, the stream is almost over. Let me just finish up these little red balls. But thank you guys so much for being here and so much for watching. I will probably be doing this again tomorrow at the same time because I close again tomorrow. But Monday will be normal streaming time. I'll probably end up making the same thing that I was planning to last week Monday before the tornado. Um, I'm going to be making like flower... Uh, Frosting flowers? Is that the word that I'm looking for? Yes, frosting flowers. Um, stop ruining it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you guys for being here and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys when I see you guys next. Uh, goodbye.